Hi, my name is Tomas and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's episode we'll be making an awesome serving board with antlers and for coasters to go with it as a beautiful set. Let's check it out! So let's jump into the build straight away. I've got two pieces of oak that we're going to use for the whole project. To start with I'm going to be using my jointer as you can see uh, to flatten one side as both, both of the boards are uneven and they need a little bit of attention. So one face needs to be flat and one of the sides to be flat as well. When we finish with the joint set we're gonna head to the uh, thicknesser um, to sort out the second faces of the board to make sure they're actually straight and even uh, that's why we use the joint set so we can now sort the boards on the thicknesser and obviously to make sure both of the boards are with the same thickness Before we actually glue up them two beautiful old boards, we're going to head to the jointer again and we're going to use our simple trick to make sure that we're going to have a perfect glue up with no gaps between the boards. So now it's time to join both of the boards together. To do that we need to make sure the edges between the boards are absolutely uh, perfect uh, so there's no gaps in between the boards. So I marked up um, which sides will go together and I named the board A and B. What that will do, when we're going to go to the jointer, we're actually going to run a board A facing um, the fence, whereas board B will be facing us. So that will help in achieving a perfect joint between them two boards. If there's any issues with your jointer, mine is not perfect, hence this technique, it's, um, it really helps a lot in making a perfect joint. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying this video and you're not a subscriber to my channel, please consider subscribing as I do bring new videos and new content each week. You can also check out my Instagram and my Twitter feed as I do post a lot more uh, photos from the jobs I do. So 
Let's carry on with the project. now fully sanded right up to 220 I'm going to use a damp cloth um, to apply a bit of moisture to the board to raise the grain after that when the board is dry we'll continue with sanding right up to about 350 and now it's time to everybody's favorite part applying the mineral oil I'm gonna apply in total of two coats um, and after that we'll be applying my secret finish. Right then, so the next step is actually to make the coasters. As you can see, I've uh, more or less already drawn the design of the coasters and we're gonna go to the bandsaw and, um, well, cut the design out.
a bit of finishing ashing with Dremel, I went with some sandpaper, done some hand sanding and I'm going to finish it off with a random orbital sander. The finish will be exactly the same as on the um, serving board. And we're back. In total of after three coats of oiling, it's now time to apply the secret recipe I've got. So basically what it is, it's a blend of coconut oil, mineral oil and beeswax. If you're interested in this blend, um, I will link it up above so you can have a look at it yourself. I've done a video on how you can make it yourself. But let's apply the finish. As I'm waxing the board I would like to take this opportunity and invite you to subscribe into my channel if you haven't done so yet. I do um, woodworking videos and tool reviews, um, you know I'll upload the videos weekly so you know your support, your subscription and your time on my channel is greatly appreciated. So I will apply two or three coats of wax and after that I will buff it out. Exactly the same procedure for the coasters. And there you have it guys, an absolutely awesome looking set a beautiful serving board and four coasters to go with it. I can be assured that if you're going to be serving your snacks on one of these bad boys, your guests will be wowed. But for today, that's all. I hope to see you next week on my next woodworking adventure. Till then, take care.